five. All right, it's time for your phone tap. And today, Brooke gets to live out her ultimate dream. Just because she's old and married in real life doesn't mean she can't hit on a younger guy during a phone tap. I thought I was swimming in a pool full of wine. But okay, that dream, I got you. No, today, she calls a young stud who's been abusing the free Wi-Fi at a local coffee shop. Don't even. And because of that, Brooke thinks he's the ultimate bad boy. Oh, wow. I'm just saying, <laughs> Mama likey. You hear how Mama gets her flirt on with a man 15 years her junior oh. in your cringy phone tap oh, right now. Hello. Brooke and Jeffrey's phone taps every hour on the 20s and right now on Mix 1065. Hello? Hi, I'm calling from Coffee down on 31st. I'm looking to speak with Matthew P. Um, this is him. I know we haven't spoken before, but my name is Tammy Barrett. I'm the manager here. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I should explain. I got your number from your rewards account. Okay. You regularly come into our coffee shop, correct? Uh, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you used to date Chloe, one of my baristas. Um, that's something I don't really feel comfortable answering. It's okay. Okay, she told me about it and said that it was more of a casual thing and you two did stuff, you know. Um, where is this going? I just wanted to ask you if you enjoy getting free coffee from her. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. Chloe doesn't give you free coffee? I mean, I mean, like, sometimes, hmm. like, not always, though. I, I don't know. Yeah, so Chloe gives you free coffee. Some of the time, like it's not like every time. Well, besides the free coffee, kind of a big deal. But I'm more concerned with the Wi-Fi. What? 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 What do you mean? We have a policy. Uh, if you buy something like a muffin, a latte, yeah, cool. Use the Wi-Fi for a little bit. That's fine. Okay. You're not buying anything. See, you're sitting there for hours on your laptop, sucking up our bandwidth, and that's what I have an issue with. What's your deal? What? What are you talking about? Why is it every time I ask you a question, you ask me a question back? Have you noticed that? What's that about? No. Well, I don't, you're, I mean, I don't know why I have to answer your questions. And you're kind of coming at me pretty harsh. Like, I just go in there time to time to, like, get a free coffee. Like, that's it. Like, I don't know why you're coming at me. I'm not coming at you, Matthew. I'm just saying, are you an honest person? That's all I want to know. Am I an honest person? Again with the questions, Matthew. Jesus, what? Sorry. Uh-huh. God. Okay. Hey. Answer the question. Yeah, I would say so. I'm an honest person. Huh. I would say right there, that means you're a liar. What do you mean? What? I don't know why you're on my case. All right, this is really frustrating. It's not how I want to spend my day. Okay, I'll level with you. The real reason I called is that I recently broke up with my boyfriend and Chloe suggested you might be a good rebound guy for me. What? She told me that not only did you guys have like fun, 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 like we were talking about, but when it comes to intimacy, you're a real tiger. Oh my God. She did not say that. She said in reference to being a lover that you're adventurous, willing to experiment. I don't understand what's going on here. Why, wh why are you calling? She told me all about you. She said you're playful, but passionate. I'm passionate. Ah. I mean, you could hear that, right? You could sense it. I no, I can't. I can't, I don't want to sense it. You didn't no. feel, I felt a, I felt a spark between us. That's, that's, that's one-sided. I don't feel that. I looked at the surveillance video of you in the shop the other day. And, you know, overall I thought, yeah, could work. Dude. Maybe we do stuff for like a week or two, maybe less, maybe more. Stop talking. I could be your watermelon sugar. What did you just say? Watermelon sugar. You know, hi. Like that. I am... So freaked out right now that some old freaky lady is telling me she wants to be my watermelon sugar. I don't know what that means. I don't you know got one thing right. On. You got the freaky right. I know WAP doesn't stand for waffles and pancakes. No, I I wish I wasn't. I wish she hadn't said that. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know what you want. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want anything to do with your WAP. Well, can I, I tell you then? This is all a joke. <laughs> What? It's actually what? Brooke. I'm Brooke from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We're doing a phone oh tap on God. you. Oh my God, guys. 
Come on. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to get like lawyers involved. This is Chloe from the coffee. You're good. Am I though? I mean, Chloe from the coffee <laughs> shop. She's she's the one that told us you guys hooked up, and then you just come in there now to get your free coffee and Wi-Fi. What the hell are you doing, Matt? I just I don't know. I felt like I could I felt like I could get away with it. I don't know. I <laughs> Mix 106.5 with Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.